All right, so on this next one, what you're going to do is, it says estimate the value of x for the following equations. Guys, like, if you got a calculator, like, don't make this difficult. Do log of 267.5 divided by 2. That's going to be 11.39, okay? Otherwise, you could put this in exponential form. You could say 2 to what power will give me 2,675, and you can sit here and go, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're going to do that 11 times, and then you're going to realize, like, that's not fun, and you should just plug it into your calculator. All right, so on the next one, you're going to plug it into your calculator, or you can do 8 to what power gives you 3,900. Again, not going to sit here and do that, so 3,900 divided by a log of 8. That's going to give you 3.98. Next one, um, when you type this into your calculator, remember, if there's not a number here, you just assume it's a 10. But fun fact, your calculator works in base 10. So this is going to be 770,000. We know how to math, y'all. Boom. 589, or 5.89. promise I can get numbers right today. It's going to happen soon. All right, so then the next one, you're going to do log of 0.5 divided by log of 12. And that's going to give you negative 0.2828. Again, if you're going to like have to estimate that, then you're going to be sitting there for a hot minute. And then this last one is ln of 30,100. Boom, 10.31. Yeah. All right, next one. 11a so what you're going to do on these is you're trying to get t by yourself so the first thing you're going to do on this one is divide by m so that's going to give you 5 to the nt equals p divided by m then you're going to put this in the log form so you're going to do the circle of life so this is going to be log of 5 of p divided by m equals nt so you're still trying to get t by itself so you're going to divide by n on both sides so that's going to be t equals log of base 5 of p divided by m divided by n. That looks like a mess, but that's the right answer. On the next one, you're going to divide by d and f on both sides. So when you do that, you're going to get 12 to the t power equals g divided by df. You're going to put this in log by circle of life. So this is going to be t equals log of base 12 of g divided by df. Boom. Okay. Um, number 11C, that one um, was like the one that was on your quiz. So the first thing you're going to do is multiply by B on both sides. So this is going to be A of T, I'm sorry, A of 10 raised to the MT equals CDB. It's like all the letters. Okay, we're going to divide by A on both sides. And this is going to be 10 to the MT equals C, D, B, divided by A. Now we put it in the log form. Oh, yeah. Log of base 10 of C, D, B, divided by A equals M, T. We're going to divide by M on both sides because we're still trying to get T by itself. And obviously, you can pause this video because I know I'm moving quickly. Be like that sometimes. And y'all get to see my lovely screen when y'all like messages. Shout out to Irene. Okay, so oh, I hope that didn't pause. Okay, so I'm not really sure how far back y'all saw this. Um, so I'm hoping that it caught this third one. If it didn't, just let me know and I'll refilm this. But basically, this is the one that was on your quiz. Um, this is your final answer. So on 11D, what's going to happen is you're going to multiply by W on both sides. Okay, when you do that, you get 19 to the QT. <laughs> equals VW. You gotta put this in the log form. So this is gonna be log of base 19 of VW. You can write WV, it doesn't matter. Equals QT. I'm gonna divide by Q on both sides. So that's gonna give me log of base 19 of VW or WV divided by Q. That's gonna give me T. Last one. Let's go. All right. Northside Hospital has radium in stock of 60 grams. Okay. It takes me this 1,690 years for a half-life. That means like half of it's going to go away. Okay. So 
they give me this equation and then they want me to calculate the number of years so that means I'm finding t um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this equal to 5 because it wants me to find it at 5 grams so I'm gonna plug this mess in and guys like I actually used this in college when I was a chem major fun fact um, so like it does come in handy you're gonna divide by 60 on both sides maybe that's why I'm good at this stuff 1 divided by 12 equals 2 raised to the negative t divided by 1690. Now I'm going to put this in the log form, so circle of log. So this is going to be log of base 2 of 1 divided by 12 equals negative t divided by 1690. So I'm going to go into my calculator. Boop, 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 boop. Log 1 divided by 12 divided by log of 2. So we're going to get that. So we're going to get negative 3.58 equals negative t divided by 1690. Now, t is not by itself. So we've got to multiply by 1690 on both sides. So we're going to multiply this mess by 1690. And we're actually going to multiply by negative 1690. I'm sorry. Because there is a negative um, in the original equation. And so it's going to take 6,058 years. For this mess to get down to five grams. That's why radium is like no bueno. Like bad news bears like don't like it because like it takes a while to like break down. Like when they say they use it to treat certain diseases, they use it I think for like cancer or like trying to like break bad things down in your body. Anyways, that's my rant. Um, couple of things to get ready for your test. You really need to be able to um, do compound interest, okay? Growth and decay. Um, you need to be able to solve. So really kind of going back and forth from exponential to log form, as well as just like have a general understanding of like word problems. You've got to read the problem. If it asks for how many years, you're solving for t. If it's just like, hey, how much is gonna, how much are you gonna end up with? That's just like one of those plug and chug kind of things. Okay. Please play smart on this. Like, do well tomorrow. Okay. And if you have any questions, please just send me a text. Okay. Good luck.